today's lesson is another little cultural thing. This is going on week one as well, and I'm here in Barrio Alto, which is the high district. And all these closed-up shops here, they're all bars. This is the most popular kind of nightlife place in the whole city. And on the weekends, literally, you cannot walk in these streets because it's full of people. Even if they're working on buildings here, there's all kinds of people. Students from 20, from 15, they're not 15, that's a different district, maybe like college students, till, you know, you'll see professionals out here going out for dinner and drinks and stuff. And they're trying to make it nicer here, so you know, they're redoing some of the older buildings. This is one of the nice districts. You know, you have these nice little streets here, and of course, the cobblestones as well. You know, and you have a lot of old people living here. Still, that's why now they're changing the law, so they have to close at 2 o'clock at night, so the old people can get some sleep, and things like that. Now, since we're in Barrio Alto, I guess I should talk about some, you know, things when you go out at night. Okay, this, this is kind of week one, but this is a lot of other things. Topic today, I'm just going to talk about yes and no, and uh, articles. Okay, in Portuguese, yes is sim. Okay, yes, sim. It's S-I-M. Okay, it sounds kind of like Spanish, sim, but you have to put a little bit something extra on the end, because it's a sim. Because remember, in Portuguese, when the M is at the end, end, it sounds like an N. Okay, sim, sim, sim. Okay, now, next, I'm going to put this on the trash can if I can talk to you, which is kind of gross, but whatever. So, ooh, it smells like beer. And of course, you know, here they, they have to clean it up every night, so they come through at 5, 6 in the morning to clean these things up. Now, this corner here uh, is, well, it's usually called like the Erasmus Corner or Mescal. That's the bar here that gives out shots, stuff like that. Very popular place. Anyway, um, sing is yes and now. Like, sounds like, look, imagine making wow. The owl, the O-W part of wow, put an N in the front. No. That means no. No. Now, when you say yes to someone, someone asks you a question, you say, see, you know, do you like, do you like Portugal? Oh, gosto de Portugal. Do you like Portugal? You say, see, gosto. Yes, I like. Now, if you want to say no to something, you, you, you double negative it. Say no to the answer, then you say no, you don't like. So you say, oh, uh, do you like codfish? Ah. Gosto de bacalhau, because ba uh, codfish bacalhau is a, like the dish here. Okay, you say no, no gosto, no, no I don't like. So it's not like English. Here you do have double negatives. Okay, so now no gosto. So you say yes is seen, no is no. Now some other things I want to talk about. You see it's loud here even during the day. People going by doing their thing. Um, other things you want to talk about are articles. Now within the article part. Okay, in English, you have the, you just have one, it's very simple, the and a, or an, okay, so I guess you have two, the, de the definite and indefinite articles. In Portuguese, since you have the genders, okay, masculine and feminine, you have to say the difference, okay, each word is masculine or feminine. Usually you can tell by the ending. If a word ends in O, it's masculine, if it ends in an A, it's feminine, okay, so, um, and that works with the the, because the in Portuguese is o or a. It's an o or an a. Okay? So if it's like the man, o homem. It's the masculine. And it's a woman, mulher, a mulher, the woman. Okay? Other things, um, the house, house is casa. Casa is feminine, so it's a casa. Now, if you want to do plurals, all you do is like English, you just add an s to the end of the and add, an, add an S to the end of the word. So, the houses is as casas. As casas. See how there's an S after the A on both of them? As casas. And then men, os homes. There's an S at the end. Okay, so pretty simple stuff. Now it gets complicated when you have the indefinite article, the A or N. Here you have uma is a female version and um is the masculine version. Now, here, what gets complicated is they have the plural for A and N, like kind of like some. So you say one, you say a beer, uma cerveja. You say some beers, like in general, you say umas cervejas. Okay, it gets kind of complicated. I even have I have problems with that a lot too. Okay, so uma, um, and uma are A, masculine and feminine. Um for masculine, uma for feminine, and then uns, U N S, because it changes when it's plural masculine. Uns, and then umas for female indefinite. Okay, so I would like to have umas cervejas, some beer, 
and I'd like to have it was three the uma tostamista a ham and cheese sandwich okay so on this one you learned C now and you saw a little bit of some of the bar area here in Lisbon so maybe not a place you're gonna take your kids but you know hey it's a good time to go out so